love you guys. Welcome, welcome. That's Lee Camp's line. I don't know if you guys know Lee Camp. Yeah. I just want to share my name with you. I'm Ted Athey. I'm running for the 6th District in Maryland. And it's against John Delaney. Anybody familiar with John Delaney? He's like a key ingredient to the Hillary Clinton campaign. You know, Bill, Bill did a lot of favors for him, so he probably owes him a lot. Um, you know, like uh, Lee Camp says, you know, we're going to take the facts from behind, and then Bernie Sanders says, uh, uh, we're going to do something really radical. You know, it's tell the truth, right? So, uh, I'm not working off a lot of campaign donations, but I'm uh, using a lot of my own money. But what I do is just hold up signs. I have signs like, uh, looks like Bernie Sanders sign. And uh, people come up to me and go, hey, Bernie Sanders. said, no, it says be on it. And, and it looks just like Bernie Sanders. And then on my sign, you know, I have like Social Security, Medicare. And I have No More Citizens United, not corporate bribe. I have uh, no TPP. So, so you get online and get on the internet, and I try to tell people, you know, you get on my my online, you know, you find out my issues on www.tedaithy.com. You know, I try to copy Bernie, just you know, tit for tat. So it makes it a lot easier for everybody to find out who I am. Also, you go on YouTube and you just punch in Ted Athey, and you'll you'll see a. Uh, if you forget about www.tedathy.com, it's it's on there. It's uh, not a great work. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to try to get bring down some facts for you. I just want to ask you guys some questions because I asked everybody. Like, I stand out the busy highways, like in Gaithersburg, Maryland, over here. All right. Okay. So, uh, I asked people, Social Security, this is how hard it is. Does anybody know the cap for one Social Security? 118,500 dollars. Is that fair? Nobody else pays tax into well tax. It's not a tax. It's FICA. It's a federal insurance, you know, whatever C stands for, whatever. It's insurance. You know, it's old age survivorship and disability insurance. Okay. That's for people who don't save up for retirement, you know? So when people make over 118500 they pay no more. When everybody else paid 7.65%, well, six, whatever it is, 6.2% and then 1.45% is Medicare, right? These numbers is, is that uh, I would sell Medicare supplements. Anybody familiar with that? Anybody over 65? close well you can ask all your you know your family members that are over 65 you can ask them how important social security is so bernie sanders is right you know if, if we take away that cap of 118,500, and we make uh bill gates warren buffett george soros mark cuban Koch brothers walt family there you go GE, we make them all contribute to Social Security. We can take it from 19 years. That's what Bernie Sanders says. 19 years. We can take it from 19 years to 60 years. Plus, we can... Does anybody know how much people made hourly in 1965? Like $2.20 an hour or something like that. It was bad. It was terrible. But these people are still rated today and they're barely rubbing two nickels together at the end of the month. Do you think them people can go out and buy a coffee or a donut, like down at Dunkin' Donuts, or uh, you know what that would do to the economy if we would take away the 118,500 cap? You know, these are facts that people need to know, right? You know these lights out here? See that sunlight hitting every one of these lights right here? 
I'm an electrical contractor, so I worked out a local 307 electrician in the D.C. area. I worked at a lot of places after 9-11. Uh, uh, up in Jersey City, uh, worked in Philadelphia on gas, power, uh, it's right there off 95, if you look over to the left there in uh, Chester, Pennsylvania, Edistone, I think it's called, Pe Pennsylvania, there's a gas burning uh, generator there. <laughs> um, also, we worked on a building right across from uh, the Hudson River from Ground Zero, and it was a tall building there. Um, you know, I just been been around a lot, and um, anyway, you look at all these lights and get back on my story. You know, they could be all solar power. They wouldn't even have to have power lines to them. You know, the solar power and the, and the batteries could be able to burn three days if they wanted to. And uh, every highway, every major highway and stuff. You know, they talk about you know green energy and stuff like this and how to save money and taxpayers money and stuff like that and uh you know like i even brought up to john delaney i was working in his uh on his campaign stuff and i brought up about uh solar power and he had a few things down here at germantown right on 270 there and i went to them and, you know we you know, they had admirals there and talking about the water rising and all this other stuff. And, and I asked him, I said, John, you're back in Hillary Clinton. <laughs> and uh, you know, from all that yelling there, he's awesome. He's one of my favorites. My throat's getting real dry. That's why I pause him. But anyway, I said to him, I said, you're back in Hillary Clinton, aren't you? Well, do you know she helped write the TPP? Do you know Diane Feinstein? She was one of them too. Claire McCaskill. Guess who the vice president is? Guess he was another one. So what do you think they're going to do with the TPP as soon as she gets elected? They ain't got to worry about me and you. And the yays, like if you bring it up on the internet, the yays have... Like uh, Democrats in, Republicans there, and I see McCain's name there. And then I start thinking CIA, CIA, CIA. Think of the Bush family. Oh, Bush family's going to start backing her. Everybody goes, you're crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy, right? They're backing them. Okay. They want me to wrap it up, and, and I just tried to give you a few facts here, pointers. Right, thanks so much time. So I, there's a lot of other stuff I'd like to tell you. But anyway, no TPP, right? No TPP. Definitely no TPP. And uh, I think about 70% of America is definitely no TPP, okay? So that should give you some inspiration there, okay? So, okay, I'll, I'll finish. <laughs> Okay, so is Richard Robold around here?